Why would a woman my age collect Brad's dolls? I'm 49 years old. That's something old ladies do with cats. Collect an enormous amount of cats for no reason at all. Let's see. Brats have monetary value to them um, as a collector's item um, because of the court case between Mattel and MGA. Mattel, the creator of Barbie. MGA, the producer of the Bratz dolls. In 2008, a federal judge ruled against MGA and they were no longer allowed to produce or sell any Bratz dolls. Therefore, they have collector's value. The other reason um, started off in 2002 with my two-year-old son, healthy boy. Um, his name is Jordan. He had his first grand mal seizure. He landed up in the ICU. Um, he aspirated, his heart stopped beating three times, and for three and a half hours, um, the pediatrician battled to actually stabilize his condition. Um, a week later, he landed up in the ICU again. This time, he was di diagnosed with epilepsy. My son then had multiple seizures for four years every day of his life, nonstop. Um, my, medical, my medical bills piled up. Um, he had to be hospitalized regularly, had to see specialists, he had to see neurologists. Leaders to say my co-payments to my medical aid mounted up to over 44,000 during that time. Um, life changed drastically for the family. He started displaying autistic behavior and it became increasingly difficult to cope with him and to communicate with him. One healthy boy became a stranger to the family, a nightmare actually to deal with at times. He was a tantrum nightmare. The only world he had was turning fans, his dump trucks, his diggers, excavators, tractors. No one else existed. Nothing else existed. Church was a nightmare experience with him. He used to run around loudly. Um, at that stage of my life, Jordan took first priority. It was very difficult dealing and coping with him. My eldest son, 10 years older than him, had to take a back seat. One day I saw Brad's dolls and his specials, I bought him too. He took on to these and he started talking to them, lengthy conversations, telling him his desires, telling him his fears, um, conversations that I've never had coming out of him ever before. He used to never play with them, he only tuck them in at night time in the mornings and have, as I said, lengthy conversations with them. I then bought him two more. Um, I also bought him two little ponies because I wanted to introduce animals to him. He hated cats. He used to toss them up in the air, the height of the garage. And it was a terrible thing, even with dogs as well. He would not be like a normal child and cuddle them. He would literally go and sit on them. So <laughs> he was a nightmare to deal with. Um, and as I said, he started talking to these dolls. Um, I wanted in on that, so hence the voices started, and each of these dolls then had a voice. And whenever he would have a conversation, I would answer, I would reply, I would ask questions. And the Brad's dolls basically became this catalyst, a medium through which I could communicate with Geridan. Um As I said with Geridan, he used to have multiple seizures every day of his life, four years nonstop. I remember one day, he was about four years old, on the way back home, in the car, he slapped me on the back of my head and he said the following, you're a street rat, you were born a street rat and you will die a street rat and only your fleas will mourn you. I was quite surprised because I didn't know what that was. Later on that evening, I realized he was reciting something from a movie, Aladdin. He used to love watching Corpse Bride, Tim Burton's uh, movie and also Nightmare Before Christmas. He used to sing along with these musicals. A non-functional boy, but all of this brilliance would sometimes come out of him. In 2006, a pediatric neurologist discovered that he had four parts of his brain affected by epilepsy. Um, he was then taken off the medication that he was on. He was actually also on medication for schizophrenia. Not that he was schizophrenic, but it's just because of his behavior that we could not cope with him. Four months after that, he was on Epilim. He's been seizure-free then after that. Um, at the age of 10, he was taken off his medication. Um, he's mildly mentally handicapped, multifaceted, disabled. He still cannot read and write. He calls it corporal punishment. He loves to look at um, the history of Hitler, Stalin, World War I, World War II, the most amazing things that he would come up with. He would do research on the tablet and he would come and tell you, oh, I've now learned about the Bismarck, and he would tell you about the Bismarck, which is a battleship, apparently, a German battleship. 
Um, hence, this is why I started off with the Brad's collection. About two years back, he came to me and he told me that he was actually quite sad because of the fact that he lost the original dolls that he had. You see, my sister took it away from him, declaring that he's a boy, and he should not be playing with dolls. Um, we got four of the dolls back. The two of us then started doing research on eBay, Gumtree locally, Gumtree abroad as well. Many of the dolls are actually bought through eBay from America, from England, from Australia. Some of them I could not even get delivered or posted to South Africa. They basically do not allow deliveries in South Africa. I used to send them to Australia to my sister-in-law and then she would post them back to me. Now the issue with Barbie, Barbie was the creation of a lady with the name of, um, sorry, I'm getting nervous here, Ruth Handler, um, named after her daughter, Barbara. Barbie came to life on the 9th of March, 1958. It was a design actually taken from a German doll called Bold Lily. Um, this doll was actually, during the era of the 1955 till 1964, a very popular fashion doll. If any of you might have one of these ugly dolls, keep it. Do not toss it. It's worth a fortune. One of those priceless monsters. Keep it. Um, did you know, by the way, that three Barbie dolls get sold every second worldwide? I wonder how many of them end up as chemical experiments. You never know. I'm not a Barbie fan. I don't like Barbie at all. Um, the Bratz dolls came to being in 2002. It was a creation of um, a guy who actually worked first of all for Mattel. From there, he moved on to MGA. Um, hence the battle between MGA and Mattel because of the fact that he was the original designer while still working and employment um, of Mattel. So hence the battle started off with that, but I do not wish to go on to that. I want to explain to you a little bit here more about the Bratz dolls. The very first babies, the Bratz dolls that came out actually consisted of four. Um, the one with the ginger hair, Chloe with the blonde hair, the one with black hair, Jade, and then my most favorite one of them all is actually Sasha, the African-American one. I have three of her only. That's very difficult to get hold of her. Another one that's also quite difficult to get hold of is the Donna doll. Um, they're quite pricey, I must say, and this collection costed me quite a fortune. But it brought me closer to my son. Um, if I can just explain a little bit more about Jared, and today he's a human being. He can communicate. He has a personality. He's actually awesome to be around. Um, that's about it. 